Welcome to Change. I'm Bonnie Carlin from the Senior Cafe at the Barn in Schomburg, and I'm delighted to be here with you today. Well, the holidays are over, and the winter months um, have settled in, so what now? We can either look out the window and watch the squirrels run up and down the trees, or we can do something interesting. How about a new hobby? That's the topic of, of our conversation today. But before we begin, I'd like our panelists to introduce themselves. I'm Fran Rogus, and I'm from the barn in Schaumburg. And my name is Ben, ben Seckler, and I'm also from the barn. Okay, great. Thanks for being here today. Um, now, when you were young, what were some of the hobbies you were involved in? Well, for a girl who was cutting out paper dolls, <laughs> or maybe drawing or doing coloring books, nothing exceptional. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ben? And myself, uh, I really didn't have much uh, as far as uh, things like that, because I was born in the height of the Depression, wow. and I didn't get uh, anything for myself in, as far as... Uh, like stamps is one of the first things that I did get when I was about 10 years old. Uh, we had a postman who was uh, a neighbor, and he started me out with it. And uh, my older sisters, one of them, they were already working, uh, bought me a stamp album for my birthday. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. And outside of that, my other interests is that I, when I got to be in the 20s, I learned how to fish, and that's what I've been doing a lot of now that I'm older and my main thing that I do now is I, that I enjoy I come to the barn five days a week <laughs> and I can't wait to get in no oh, that's great. because the people there are so so compatible and everything like that and uh, everybody wants to help you everybody mm -hmm. and they when I got there I didn't know any card games and now I'm almost a professional. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Um, did you participate in any hobbies with your friends? Absolutely. Um, my best friend, who is sitting to my right, uh, we knit. And we do things for our grandchildren. And we just enjoy the companionship and sharing of ideas. Okay. And Ben, did you do things with your friends too? Uh, not really. Uh, the only thing that we did is I lived in a neighborhood where it was just a mixed neighborhood, and we only, the only thing was baseball that we used to play. That's all. That's about <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. I um, myself, um, I did stamps too. You know, I did a stamp collection, and I started doing that. And um, my aunt used to give me a bunch of stamps because she worked for a publisher, oh, and they'd get a nice. lot of letters. So there were even stamps from um, different countries, you know. Oh, so that's exciting. It was very exciting because I didn't know those countries then, and, and it taught me, you know. Oh, certainly. Uh, the other countries of the world. So um, what did your hobbies teach you? To show an interest in something that at a quiet time when you were ill and you had to play alone, or if you just wanted to learn something new, and I have a thirst for learning mm -hmm. different uh, people mm -hmm. and items, and the barn shows me that. I meet people all the time that find, I find very interesting. Great. Ben, what did they teach you, the stamp collecting? Uh, the stamp collecting just taught me to be uh, quiet and just just go in a corner and do what I have to do. And to just stay out of the way of my parents and so I didn't bother them. Oh, you are pretty quiet then, yeah, huh? Yeah, right. That's yeah, good. outside of baseball, you know, yeah. I'd go out to the uh, field and play ball with them mm -hmm. until it was time to come in for dinner. Or so whatever. what was your position in baseball? Sometimes I wasn't even selected to play. Oh. Because I, was, I wasn't built for a ball player. I was oh. kind of short and stubby. <laughs> but now I've outgrown that. I've oh, got tall and, <laughs> tall and stubby. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, looking back uh, at your old hobbies, would you be willing to pick them up again? You don't think so? No, huh? I don't think so. No I paper prefer, dolls? No paper dolls. <laughs> but uh, learning from other people, it's quite interesting to find out what other people do mm -hmm. and learn from them and sharing. 
And that's a lot that's of great. it, it's sharing of your time and effort. Hmm. How about you, Ben? Uh, well, with, with my siblings, I didn't do too much because I was uh, kind of young. My, there was a, a big age difference between my brother and myself. Oh. And uh, uh, as far as uh, doing things with siblings, uh, nothing now, but I do with my daughter every once in a while. She uh, does craft work. She makes things out of wood, <laughs> and I enjoy going with her to uh, Schomburg when they have the festival here. Oh, how nice. And she has a, usually has a table here and a few of the churches around uh -huh. and high schools. Huh. And I go with her because I like to talk to the people and usually I can help her sell some stuff. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you the type of person who goes all out in developing a hobby or are you one to sort of test the waters before you jump in? Oh, I dive in. <laughs> <laughs> I have the supplies to prove it. Yes. And, uh, I love uh -huh. learning new things. Good. I think it keeps your mind fresh. Mm -hmm. And you can share it with others. Yeah. How about you, Ben? No, I don't... Uh, I don't... Have don't have... The, I can't get started in anything now. Oh, the only okay. thing as hobby as I have is... Is the barn? No, <laughs> that's my favorite hobby. Well, that's pretty I got good. A place to go. <laughs> that's yeah. great. It's a good place. Yeah. Did you ever do a hobby as a business? Yes, um, painting on wood. My husband was a carpenter, and he would create things in wood, and then I would do painting on it. And mm -hmm. it was a small business, but it kept us occupied and mm -hmm. meeting people. And I think that's what I love to do—meet people. That's great. And you said you went with your daughter. Yeah, and it, it, used to go to different craft fairs, and, uh -huh. and I used to help her. Uh -huh. Help her set up, you know, and take stuff down, uh -huh. pack it up. And, yeah. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed the people that were around me. You used to see uh, a lot of the people were habitual. They'd be there every year at the, <laughs> at the craft fair, and they get to know you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you ever do any hobbies with your parents or siblings? No, there was too much of an age difference for my sibling. Mm -hmm. Although I belong to uh, the American Legion Juniors, and I was very fortunate that some of the mothers would teach a group of us, mm -hmm. and that was fun. Yeah, that was, that was great. Fun. And you said that uh, that you didn't do too much with no. your because they're the age. No, not yeah, you know, not until I. I got older, and you know, I got married, and then I started doing fishing and stuff like that. We used to go on a lot of vacations, different parts of the country. That was great. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have to take a short break now, but we'll be back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Change. Uh, we were talking about our hobbies when we were children, and uh, now we're going to talk about um, uh, getting involved in hobbies that are interesting to us. Um, Fran, can you name as many hobbies as you can think of? Do you have about an hour and a half <laughs> of time? Uh, drawing. I'm a little rusty. Knitting, crocheting, counted cross stitch, embroidery. And there must be a dozen others. Mm. Okay, I really Ben. Don't have, I really don't have any that I can think of outside the few that I had already mentioned. Oh, okay. How about gone fishing? <laughs> oh, well, fishing, fishing I continue to do. Yeah, and woodworking and stuff like well, that. Well, I don't do the woodworking. Mm -hmm. My daughter does the woodworking, and I, I do the dragon and now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to uh, do... Um, a soap sculpture with my father oh, when I was a little one. Yeah. You know, uh, nowadays I don't think they'd give kids knives, but uh, back then it was okay. No, no, you know, it's illegal. Yeah, we'd sit in the garage and he'd give me a bar of ivory soap and I would make a whale or I kind of remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty and nice. Girl Scouts. Yes, yeah. Oh. I was never a Girl Scout. I was deprived. Oh, so <laughs> that's okay. Well, you do one good deed a day, which you, I know you do. Oh, so. well, thank you very much. Um, are there any hobbies that you have never tried but you've thought about? Macrame, tying ah. knots. I figured it'd be wiser not to. 
because mm -hmm. I would have a ton of supplies, mm. and I live in a small home. So. <laughs> but that's, that's about it. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's many. Mm -hmm. I think that if you do a hobby, especially in this severely cold weather where we've been cooped up, mm -hmm. you're not as lonely if you live alone. And uh, as I said earlier, it keeps your mind fresh. Mm -hmm. And I love to keep that yeah. going. Anything new you'd like to try? Well, not really. My big thing was when I, when I was getting older with the family and everything, I was always working and mm -hmm. I didn't have time for anything because I had three children. They all wanted to go to college and everything, and I had to keep working. You can't do that on a hobby, I guess. No, <laughs> you can't do nothing on a 10-cent hobby. That's right. That's right. But everything turned out great for the kids. They all wow. got through. If a hobby seems very difficult, uh, does it pique your interest or does it turn you away? Sometimes the most difficult is the most interesting and the average gets boring, but that's not fair for the project. Mm -hmm. It's just piques your interest. Mm -hmm. Now you do quilting, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I do. That is pretty intricate, isn't it? Yes, it is, and most uh, people do not understand that you're taking fabric, cutting it apart, and putting it together again. <laughs> but it's intricate patterns, and yeah. it's time-consuming, mm -hmm. and there's a certain amount of joy doing it. Hmm. Are there any materials that you can think of at a reasonable cost or free that you could uh, gather to do things? Yes. Uh, I would say yarn mm -hmm. and some fabrics, and I donate my time to two charities. One is through a church for the less needy, or the more needy, I apologize for that. And uh, Lex in a hospital, St. Alexis, uh, for the cancer portion of the hospital for women and children. Mm -hmm. uh, they don People donate the fabric and the yarn. It's up to you to do it and drop it off once a month, and I highly recommend it. It's a good feeling that what you do. What type of projects have you done for them? I've done dolls uh, for the children. They put faces on the blank mm -hmm. do face. I've done uh, blankets mm -hmm. and uh, various other items and that. And it's needed. Mm -hmm. And the children get to keep whatever it is. It's oh, that's pillowcases, great. what have you. All right. Um, are there any men in your family that have hobbies? Uh, not too many. My son is a commercial artist, mm -hmm. and he has various hobbies, um, most of which is um, artwork mm -hmm. and caricatures. And uh, he doesn't do the cruel ones. He does the pleasant, happy ones. Mm. And I think that's a good thing. Very good. Anybody in your family other than uh, your daughter? that has done anything with uh you No, know, not really outside of my son who is a better fisherman than I am though. <laughs> so I, now most of the times when I go out fishing with him, I just sit there and watch him catch the fish. And, mm. But I enjoy being out there because it's real, it's relaxing. It is. You enjoy it, eating the fish, don't you? That's a good hobby. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> what type of fish do you, uh, you catch? Uh, he, my son likes to fish in Lake Michigan. He, ca mm -hmm. he catches a, a lot of uh, uh, brown trout. Usually they run between 7 to 10 and 15 pounds. Uh -huh. And then he gets these uh, salmon in the Ooh. spring. And uh, these are big fish also. He's had them up to... 20 some wow. pounders mm -hmm. and when he catches them he takes them runs them right into the smokehouse <laughs> and has them smoked wow and if we all enjoy them then oh yeah i didn't even know there were salmon in lake michigan oh that's abundance wow yeah. that is interesting are there any hobbies you don't care for and why mm, no i think that uh, if it piques my interest i'll try it and mm -hmm. that yeah so we are starting up a craft group at the barn. Oh, yeah, we are, huh? And uh, it's doing social events um, for other areas, uh, nursing homes and uh, senior centers. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but um, 
homes for the seniors. And that's mm -hmm. kind of fun. Now, you did a project um, with uh, reindeer, right? Yes. You want to, you know, explain what it was? Uh, we went to a nursing home in Schaumburg, and we gave out candy to the caregivers, and we gave out candy canes that were made up to be reindeers, and we gave them to the residents so they could have a friend to enjoy. And mm -hmm. there's something delicious about peppermint. <laughs> and they were very thrilled. Marina, uh -huh. the uh, administrator at the barn, and mm -hmm. I went. Mm -hmm. It was most enjoyable. And what were they made out of, the reindeer? Candy canes, uh, felt over the, uh, the crook of the neck of the candy canes. Mm -hmm. Google eyes. <laughs> and... Um, Reindeer antlers, which were really fun to create. Now, those were pipe cleaners? Pipe cleaners, and uh, a group of us had a blast. <laughs> we had so much fun laughing and mm -hmm. working together. Now, I heard a rumor that you were helping out, Ben. Yeah, I, I, was, I was always selected for different womanly jobs and men's <laughs> jobs, whatever. I was always You're available. You're a good sport. That's, That's all right. I can I'm say. He's a complete Marine gentleman. Knew, yes. Knew who would come by and just say, Ben, can you do this? Can yes. you help us with this? And, and you do. I never say no. Oh, that's great. It's appreciated. Yeah. Well, we got to take a fast break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Change. We have a new panelist here, and I'd like him to introduce himself. Hi, my name is uh, Rob Palekis. I work here um, at the Prairie Center for the Arts uh, for the Village of Schaumburg and mm -hmm. the uh, Department of Cultural Services. Uh, and I wanted to drop by, say hello, well, talk great. a little bit. Glad you came down. Uh, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. And uh, I heard there was a discussion on hobbies. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think uh, one of the hobbies, uh, I know certainly when I was younger, I used to enjoy, uh, like maybe any other kid, just kind of performing in front of other people. You know, you get other friends together, you put on little skits and stuff like that. So, so uh, I guess it's no coincidence that I grew up uh, working for a performing arts center, so, uh, <laughs> which is what I do now. And, uh, and, and I'm excited that, that we are now um, offering an opportunity for senior citizens to perform uh, at the Prairie Center. Uh, last, uh, about a year or two ago, one of our cultural commission members who, who volunteers, volunteers her time to help program uh, uh, activities at the Prairie Center uh, had, had come across uh, a local park district that did a senior talent show for senior citizens and thought, well, you know, we have a performing arts center. We have a beautiful theater here. Why don't we do something like that ourselves? So we, uh, we started to get the word out. And lo and behold, uh, uh, last year in, um, in April, we had our first annual Senior Follies, a senior citizen talent show. And uh, we are back again with our second annual Senior Follies show. We have auditions on uh, Wednesday, April 2nd. So it's coming up. Uh, and and uh, I think the most wonderful, wonderful thing about it is that uh, talent doesn't go away. Okay, no, no matter, uh, uh, you know, how old you get, uh, what happens, you still have that gift. And uh, what, we, what we saw last year is an extraordinary pool of um, wonderful talent that, that could sing, dance, uh, tell stories. Um, uh, we had a lip sync artist who sang uh, Cabaret <laughs> oh to Liza Minnelli. <laughs> um, and and it, was just, it was just such a warm event and, and it was hosted by Mayor Larson, mm -hmm. um, who's Who's pretty quick on the quick on the wit and is able to, to you know get some fun laughs from everyone, uh, but it's 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 a really nice it has it's a nice community activity. Um, it, it acknowledges the acknowledges the the communal spirit. It acknowledges that uh, that, that performance and talent has no limits, and uh, it's it's just a very fun afternoon. The show's in April. Uh, it's on April twenty uh, seventh. It's a Sunday mm -hmm. afternoon, so uh, it's a, it's a nice matinee to to get out and see a great show. I think tickets will only be five dollars. Mm -hmm. Just goes help to help support the program, um, and and we just want people to come out and, and see if they'd like to try it. See if they want to try out for it and audition for the talent show. Very good. So uh, <laughs> yeah, anyone uh, I, we can start you know with our singers if you want to try something right now perhaps. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I won't put my you on voice, the spot. My voice has always been been real deep, and I was always told when I was in high school that uh, if I wanted to pass the course, sit there and do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, right. was, they called me a Russian base, and <laughs> when you say everybody else got off tune, <laughs> that's, that's saying that I was. <laughs> that's similar to when people say keep your day job. I think. Yes, right. so, uh, and I, I've been told that myself. So oh my uh, I, I'm not a singer myself. Yeah. Um, so I'm always impressed when other people can can walk up to a microphone, and they did last year, mm. uh, and and just sing beautiful songs. And it's just, uh, I, it just it just feels good to see that, you know. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, and it, we, we were it was a popular it was a popular show the first time yeah. around. It's going to be popular again. I yes. think it's going to be an annual tradition at the Prairie Center. That's good. Uh, yeah. Is there a number people can call if they're interested? They in? can. They can mm-hmm. call 847 895 3600. So 847 895 3600. Yes. Uh, and they could ask anyone at the Prairie Center about it and uh, they'll, we'll get them in touch with the right person or give them the information and uh, get them on their way. But all they have to do for the audition is show up. Mm-hmm. We'll, we will have a pianist there. So if you have music, you can sing along. We'll have a pianist there to accompany you. Uh, if you want to dance to something, you can bring a CD or music of your own, dance mm-hmm. to that. Uh, honestly, we had we had this wonderful tap dance group um, of about five or six ladies. Did, did a marvelous routine yeah. uh, to, to pre-recorded music, and that was that was great. So I, the sky's the limit. The sky's the yeah. limit. No, I, I met somebody recently who belongs to the Sweet Adelines. Right. That would be great. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? We'd uh-huh. love that. We'd, we had a group last year called the Notables, and I believe mm-hmm. they're based out of Hoffman Estates, and they um, and they perform they perform last year. So, but the Notables are wonderful, and we'd like to bring you know groups like that oh, in, and get them involved as well because the more the merrier is what uh-huh. we think. That's great. <laughs> so, it's it's a great time. It's uh-huh. uh, I, I really enjoy it. I think uh, uh, these you know these people who who don't really see an outlet to to really kind of show their stuff you know, mm-hmm. so much. So uh, we're happy to provide that. Great. It sounds like a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we've, you know, our audience, we, we didn't know what to expect the first time around. And we, we got a great house, great number of people came to see it. We thought, well, you know, maybe this will be a nice one-time deal. So mm-hmm. they're, they're already talking about next year. This is oh, what yeah. they, they want to come back. Everyone wants to come back and perform. Yeah. Everyone wants to come back and see it. Um, it's just, uh, again, it's just it's just nice to see that these are people in your neighborhood who mm-hmm. are doing this. And it, uh, it I think it just brings, it just brings the, the neighborhood. To get the community together, mm-hmm. really, and uh, that's that's part of what the Prairie Center is about is just to okay. is to um, share the performing arts mm-hmm. with people. Um, you know, we have a number of youth programs. We have a youth orchestra. Uh, we have we just started a youth choir, a dance ensemble. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's wonderful. But let's not let's not just keep it with the youth. We can go other other age groups and other demographics and, and mm-hmm. have the same result as as we do with these. So, uh, it, it's a nice feeling. That's great. It's a very nice. feeling. Feeling, yeah, so. yeah. Well, we're going to have to take this information down to the barn too, and uh, you know, uh, tell the seniors about it. Absolutely, just, and know. I can tell you, the barn last year put together a nice presentation um, about uh, being an American, mm-hmm. and it was it was actually performed by people who had moved to this country either as as uh, children or as adults, mm-hmm. and and uh, they gave their interpretations of what it means to them to be to be an American citizen. It was a, it was a beautiful presentation mm-hmm. um, you know Kieran it was kind of led it uh, you know last year uh, so we're hoping to get representation from the barn as well we, we, we love having them being part of it yeah I know they're uh was a dancer from the barn too, wasn't there? There was a dancer from the barn. As mm-hmm. a matter of fact, uh, they would they a couple a couples dances. Yes, two, two yes. couples as a matter of right. fact performed. So uh-huh. uh, they got to come back. Yeah. What what they type of dancing do they do? Uh, <laughs> little cha cha, little little modern, little disco, Ooh. little ballroom. So uh, we're, we're not talking just foxtrot. We're okay. talking they're, they're going into the 20th century, 21st yeah. century, a uh-huh. little bit of everything. Oh, so uh, it's it's really nice, uh-huh. but uh, but very elegant too. Mm. I mean, they, they know what they're doing, which is kind of nice oh, to see. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure that he'll come back. All He's right. from the barn. That yeah, he is. Uh, yes. yeah. And he, he'll do any kind of dance that you want him to. Yes, he will. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, we uh, we certainly had a great conversation about the uh, project coming up for the uh, talent show. And uh, everybody out there, if you'd like to come for lunch at the barn, you can call Marina at 847-524-7496. Thank you and bye for now.